This presentation is called the large bead frame multiplication. A note before we begin. When doing the large bead frame, the child will use this upright. For the sake of this presentation, it is flat. Also, there is no paper behind the large bead frame. This is so that you can all see. We also start with the beads all the way over. I will also be using a black Sharpie and a red pen. The child will use a pencil and a red colored pencil. Let's begin. Today I'm going to show you how to do a large multiplication problem on the large bead frame. Let's take the number 2,342. And let's take that four times. Actually, let's take that 24 times. Let's begin. In order to do this problem, we need to decompose the multiplicand. The multiplicand is the number on top. When I think of the word decompose, I think breaking down. So we're gonna break down that top number. Let's begin. So I have two units, four tens, three hundreds, two thousands. And how many zeros are there in my units? Correct, none. How many zeros are in my tens? Yes, one, so I put one zero. How many hundreds are, I'm sorry, how many zeros are in my hundreds? Yes, two. And how many zeros are in my thousands? Yes, three. Now I'm going to take this decomposed multiplicand and multiply it four times. I'm going to take this number four times. All right, let's do that. So what is two units taken four times? Well, let's do that. Two units taken one time, two times, three times, four times, eight. And what is four tens taken four times? Well, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could sit here and do this. One, two, exchange, three, four. That's three times. One, two, three, four. That's four times. So that would be 16. If you know how to do your multiplication facts, you could simply just say, oh, I know four tens taken four times is 16. And what did we do? We carried 100 over, so I put a one in circle, the bead, so I know I'm adding it later. And I'm gonna put six in my tens, because that's what's there. Let's continue. Now I have three hundreds taken four times. Okay, one, two, three, one time, one, two, three, two times, one, two, three, three times, exchange, one, two, three, four times. All right, well now I know I exchanged 1,000 and I have three hundreds on my hundreds. Now I need to take two thousands four times. One time, two times, three times, four times. What do I have? Yes, 9,000. So now I've decomposed my multiplicand and multiplied it by my units, four. We call this a partial product. This means we have part of the answer. In the word partial, I see the word part and product means answer. So I have part of the answer. And why is that? Well, because I still have that two right there. And that two tens needs to be multiplied by the multiplicand. So let's start the second part of the problem. 
I will clear my frame and decompose my multiple can again. Two units, four tens, three hundreds, two thousands. And plug in my zeros. And let's multiply all of this by 20. Now, sitting here and multiplying all of this 20 times really is going to be a lot of work. So I have an easier way to do this. And you might remember from other lessons that any time we multiply by the tens, we're just adding a zero, right? Nine times 10 is yes. 90 or 9, 0. 8 times 10 is 80 or 8, 0. So let's do that. We're going to, we are going to um, add some zeros here. So what would 2 times the tens place be? Yeah, it would be 20. So I'm going to put a 2 and I'm going to use a red colored pencil and I'm going to write, I'm going to add that 0 right there. So there's my 20. My 40 times 10 would become, oh, yep, <laughs> my 40 times 10 would become 400, just like that. And I'm adding that zero to the end because I'm multiplying by the tens place. Three times the 10, 300 times the tens would give us thousands. So there's my 300 plus a zero, 3,000. Then my 2,000 would become 20 thousand just like that okay and now instead of multiplying by 20 I can just multiply by 2 so I'm gonna cross this out we just made our lives a lot easier by adding in those zeros for the tens place so let's do that let's begin so I have no units, so I have no, I'm not going to multiply and put any units here. So always be mindful of which line you are on. Here are my tens. So I have two tens taken two times. Let's do that. One time, two times. How many do I have? Yeah, 40. And I'm going to add that zero so I remember, yeah, we are multiplying by the tens place. So there's all, there's going to be zero in my tens, my units right now. All right. Four hundreds taken two times. Well, there we go. We know that's eight hundreds. So I'm going to put an eight here. And three thousands taken two times. Yep. Six. So I'd have six thousands and two ten thousands or 20,000 taken two times gives us 40,000. There is another partial product. So I'm going to write, you don't have to write this. I'm just writing this so you know that I have another partial product. So this is partial product number two. There's partial product number one. Part of the answer is right here. Okay, so let's add our two partial products together. We have successfully done our multiplicand by our entire multiplier. Here we go. So my first partial product is 9,368, so 9,368 plus 46,840, 46,840. Now, you could do this on the large bead frame or if you're doing this lesson, you've probably had a lot of experience doing addition on the large bead frame or with other material, and you should know how to do addition at this point. So let's do that. Eight plus zero is eight. Six plus four is 10. Eight plus three plus one is 12. 
9 plus 6 plus 1, yes, is 16, and 4 plus 1 is 5. This is our product, our final product. Not our partial product, our final product, our final answer. So we can say that 2,342 taken 24 times gives us 56,208. Now, you may ask, well, what if I need to multiply by the hundreds? Like, let's say there's a hundred here. Well, when we get to this step, we would be multiplying by 100, and instead of one zero, we would add two zeros, okay? Same goes for thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, etc. This is how you multiply using the large bead frame.